in infrastructure here, Simon, is one of the major planks of our long-term vision, is to have regional centres like this right across the 12 zones of Victoria. And this is one of the ones that you can see for yourself uh, is actually coming to fruition. And uh, tonight's game is another thing that's come to fruition. Uh, a goal 15 seconds before half-time is always good to stir up the crowd. So the main thing about this is a wonderful relationship between two councils, the Kingston Council and the Bayside Council. And for years, of course, people have said councils can never even stop fighting within themselves and here we have two councils leading the way by actually directing something where we can do the right thing by the young people to come and play the game. Well we've seen plenty of changes here at the soccer complex, we've seen the new stadium behind us and some changes and also some some synthetic pitches being laid as well as adjacent to this pitch. Yeah. Well let me say those two uh, artificial services out there or as we at FIFA now or FIFA call them football turf but anyway, the two, we now we had a meeting on Wednesday at the annual general meeting and we had a, a, um, 30 new artificial pitches going into Victoria this year. 30. That's including these two. So 28 more, which really says that the government, the Football Federation are really working hand in hand. That's the state government, along with the councils, to give our kids somewhere to play, Simon. Because that's what they want to do. They want to play. And Tony, aside from rolling out 30 synthetic pitches, any other significant issues coming out of last week's annual general meeting? Well, good issues. One issue that at least we managed to um, not, not lose any money. We actually uh, gained about $200,000 over the year and kept that because we need that to help fund some of our partnerships in the future. Um, some of the other stuff that we're trying to do with the AGM was to try and convince people that we actually are trying to put more and more clubs onto the, onto, onto the marketplace to try and make sure that the Champions League is as successful as it wants to be. Well, in your position, you and the board have made significant decisions, whether it be at your annual general meeting last week, bringing football coverage from TV onto the internet. How have you, the board and the broader community, found that? Well, I have to thank you guys, of course. It's uh, the TV uh, TV um, uh, exposure that you're giving us on the website. It's fantastic. I mean, I've actually watched it myself. and There'll be a lot of people watching everything you do. And I think people are going to take this up in a big way. Um, I can only thank people like yourself and Harvey for being sort of pioneers of it to put it onto our website. But it's the right way to go. So there are other things that we're trying to do with regards to, um, we're in, we're actually, we have our own Twitter site now, we have, have our own Facebook page, we've got 800 young students out there working and developing things for us. So in the end of the day, it's really happening and I put a lot of it down to young girls, young boys playing the game. And Tony, I'm sure you've got a Facebook page, over 800 plus friends already? I, I, yeah, I've actually got more friends than I ever thought I had. I wonder if they've got votes, that's the only thing, but <laughs> they're certainly the right sort of people we want to be on on Facebook and I'm sure that's what you want to do because the more people on Facebook, they hear about your TV show and on they come down and start to watch it. And just finalising and finishing up here, turning our attention from grassroots football and looking at the state, we've got Melbourne Victory in the grand final, the yep. women's team and also the youth league, yep. how's it all going from a national level back down? Okay, let me tell you very very quickly, wonderful to see Melbourne Victory once again have the, the main grand final again at where it should be in Melbourne. Wonderful to see obviously Melbourne uh, Hart coming into the competition and obviously and get, buying some Victorian players back like Christian Sarkis, I was thrilled to see that. Wonderful to see the, the W League coming through, we did a really good job, missed out in the top four just, just a little bit last year, I think they'll be a lot stronger next year. Wonderful to see the two youth teams playing, do you know, I'm sure you, you know, that on this Wednesday this week right here was one of the youth teams played against the Premier League teams. So we're playing them all the year round now. National Youth League, Premier League, can't be anything better. And the Premier League itself this year has got much more going for it, particularly because of what you're doing for us. I do appreciate that bit. Well, Tony, football's obviously flourishing in this state. Thank you for your role as the president of Football Federation Victoria. Thanks for your time. Enjoy the second half as the players get back on the pitch. And that's where we'll leave it. Stay tuned for all the action from Kingston Heath in the second half.